Hello, my name is Shelly Balls and I'm a nutrition and food safety educator for the University of Wyoming Extension Office. Today we are going to talk about and make some street tacos. Street tacos are a great game day food. They're great for um, those days when you're going to be busier and you just want to come home and you want to smell that aroma of that fresh food ready for you to eat. So we have a lot of different ingredients out here in front of us. You can pick whatever kind of street tacos you want. Today's recipe is just an easy chicken street taco recipe and we have some corn tortillas that we're going to add later, some limes, some cilantro back in the kitchen and we're gonna actually going to make a nice cabbage coleslaw that goes on top of these tacos at the end too. So we'll get to that. But first, we just want to talk about some safety um, things about our slow cookers and some things that we want to consider. So slow cookers are an awesome tool. Uh, their low temperature, prolonged cooking helps tenderize those meats. It helps keep that moisture in there. And it's a really good thing to have as you're, as you're headed out in the morning, throw everything in your crock pot or throw everything in your slow cooker and head out the door. And when you come home, you smell that aroma. It's all done and it's ready to eat. And very little prep has to happen when you come home. So that's the great thing about slow cookers. A couple tips, you want to have at least half of your slow cooker full of food and liquid when you start cooking and no more than two thirds full. That will help prevent um, overburning or, and it can also help improve quality and also safety too. Another thing that we want to consider with the slow cooker is we don't want to put anything frozen in there. Frozen meats take too long to thaw out and by the time they thaw out, they have been sitting in that danger zone and increasing in the bacteria that could be on them. So we want to make sure that we start with thawed out foods, whereas in an electric pressure cooker or like an Instapot, we can put some of those frozen foods in there because it gets out of that uh, frozen uh, state fast enough. But with our slow cookers, we want to avoid putting frozen meats into the slow cooker. So we want to start off today by adding our chicken in here. So we're just going to take our lid off. You could always operate with your slow cooker with the lid on because that helps retain the flavors. It decreases the cooking uh, or it increases your cooking time every time you take that lid off. It releases all that heat, all that steam. So we always want to keep our lid on when we are cooking. So we're going to start with putting our chicken in here. So we have two pounds of chicken. I love slow cookers because you can put everything in there and just walk away, let it cook, do your thing, prep other food if you need to. We have one onion, so we're just going to add that onion into here. Okay. Our next thing that we're going to add is the chipotle peppers and this is like four to six chipotle peppers in some adobo sauce. So we're going to add that in there. This is a canned food product. So you're going to find this in one of your center aisles next to your um, Spanish food. So you're going to have this can and this one just says chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. So that's what you're looking for for that. We are going to add some fresh orange juice, half a cup. Pour that in there. You can use whatever orange juice you want, whatever your favorite is. Then we also have six cloves of garlic mashed or minced. So we're going to add that into there. A teaspoon of salt. And then finally, a teaspoon of oregano. Okay. So we have all of our ingredients into our slow cooker. It's about half full, so that's perfect. That's what we want. Depending on your cooker size, there are four quarts, there's five quart, uh, six quart, eight quart. Depending on your cooker, you might have to add more ingredients to your cooker to get it up to half full for that best quality um, and, and product as well. So we're gonna put our lid back on there. And we are going to put this glass on there. And when we're going to set this, we're going to actually go to low. So you can do low for six to seven hours, or you can do high 
for four to six hours. I like to put my stuff in a slow, cook slow cooker and take off, go to work, and then come back, and it'll be cooked by then. But if you, say, start at noon and you want dinner by five or six, you can do the high method for four to six hours as well. So low, six to seven hours, or high for four to six. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna plug that in, get it started. And once we get closer to that end of the cooking time, we're gonna check it, make sure it's done, and it should be nice and tender. It should flake off of that chicken. Everything should just pull apart really easily. And this is a great recipe to just leave, let it cook, let it, this aroma fill your house, fill your apartment, wherever you are, and it's a great thing. Another tip when you're cooking in slow cookers is if you are adding, say, grains into your dish, you want to make sure that you're not overcooking them because what happens is they become mushy. So if you're adding pasta, for example, or some rice, you'll want to add those in the last like one hour of your cooking time to make sure that those don't overcook. Same with soft vegetables. If you have zucchini, um, tomatoes, mushrooms, things that are going to be really fast at cooking, you want to add those in the last like 45 minutes to one hour as well so those don't overcook. All right, so when we come back, we are going to make some purple coleslaw uh, cabbage to go over our street tacos, and it's a really great addition. It's spicy, it's tangy, I think it's great. So we'll come back, we'll make that, and we'll kind of show you what it looks like. So we are about 30 minutes out from our chicken to be done with our slow cooker. So we are about 30 minutes out from our chicken being done in the slow cooker and we want to make some spicy pineapple slaw now to go on top of our street tacos. This is a, a really good recipe, it gives it some spice, it gives it a nice little sweet tangy uh, flavor to it. So we are going to start off by adding two cups of shredded purple cabbage. Next we are going to add one cup of fresh pineapple. And then we're going to add one quarter cup of cilantro. Juice of one lime. We're gonna save the rest of the cilantro and the juice of the other lime for the actual meat mixture at the end. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of our apple cider vinegar and finally our jalapeno and you can leave the seeds in or you can seed them as well. If you like it spicy I'd say leave the seeds in. All right so now we're gonna mix this all together and this makes a great fresh topping. Add your favorite veggies really good flavor in this. Okay, so that's gonna be ready. Once we get those tacos ready, that meat shredded, we will top it off with some of this spicy pineapple slaw. So now that we have cooked this for six hours on low, we are going to add our last few ingredients, mix it all together, and then finally fill up our warm tortillas and top with our spicy coleslaw relish. So, let's take the top off here. And I've already shredded my chicken. Once you do that low temperature cooking, the slow cookers help to tenderize any of those um, less expensive cuts of meat. So you could even do pork shoulder, you could do chicken like we did today, which is tender as it is, but it just makes it fall right off um, and it shreds really easy. Any of those less expensive cuts of meat that um, need a little bit longer cooking, this is a great recipe for it. So use any of those cuts of meat. It's a great way to kind of 
utilize your spending dollar and make more food with it. So we have here our slaw. We are going to add our cilantro. So a quarter cup cilantro, we'll add that in there. And then our last ingredient was the juice of one lime. So we're gonna add that in there and then give it a good stir and it's done. So that is your final prep. Shred the meat, add the lime juice, add the quarter cup of cilantro and you are done. You are ready. So we are going to serve this up into a couple tortillas here. And a great tip, if you add two tortillas with your mini tacos, what falls out of your first tortilla can fill up your second tortilla. So we are going to fill up a couple tortillas here. And then we are going to top it off with a little bit of our spicy cabbage slaw here. Then I love avocado, so we're actually gonna add some avocado to this. And bam, you are ready to go. So some street tacos, these are chipotle chili street tacos. They are delicious, they're a great game day food. You can use any type of cut of meat, um, but really a lot of different things can be cooked in your slow cooker on game day. It's a great thing to throw everything in there, put the lid on, put it on low or put it on high, walk away while it cooks, clean the house, get ready, do whatever you need to do for that game day. It's also, a slow cooker is also a great way to um, do easy cleanup. So if you wanna do an easy cleanup, it's one pot. And also, if you're wanting to do an even easier cleanup, you can do an insert um, a crock pot or slow cooker liner and so you can just take that liner right out when you're done and throw it in the garbage and you're good to go. So a lot of great tips with your slow cooker. It's a great resource to have in the kitchen um, but if you are converting recipes or let's say example a recipe that doesn't call for a slow cooker always reduce that uh, liquid that it calls for and then also add cooking time. So Another great tip for your slow cooker is if your recipe calls for milk, cream, or cheese, you want to add that in the last one hour as well. So I hope that you can have your slow cooker. You can do casseroles. Hope you can make some great desserts in your slow cooker, soups. It's just about anything that you can do in here. So we have our street tacos today, and I hope you guys enjoy the game day. Hope you have a good one.